Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a very nice tool from Google which you can use to manage your research activities and also to help you out in terms of research writing. Now head on to notebooklm.google the name is Notebook LM. LM stands for language model. The concept here is that you have a mini language model based on the resources that you have. So you don't rely on internet stuff. You can use it to create your own language model for your resources. So go to notebooklm.google. You will see this. Think smarter, not harder. Try Notebook LM. And then you will see this page where it will, if, if you, this is your first time, you will see this and just create a new notebook. Right, immediately it will ask you to, to upload whatever you want. Usually we'll upload PDF files or articles. You can also link it to your Google Docs, Google Slides, link to website, YouTube, or even page tag. But in this case, because you are advised to gather the articles first, you know, in a folder, like let's say for a certain topic, AI in education, for example, you gather all the articles first and then you upload them. So in this case, I'll be uploading all these articles and you will see immediately all your files are on the left. All these are sources. If you need to add, you just add source here. Click add source. You can add more. Um, at the moment, for free account, you can upload to 50 files per notebook. Right? You can have multiple notebooks, but you can upload up to 50 sources. I think which is enough. You don't have to have 50 in one. You know, one topic, maybe only 20 articles or 10 articles. You can just upload 10 and then create one notebook for that topic and then do another one. All right. So you can have multiple notebook, but within one notebook, you can have 50 sources. And immediately you will see the Gemini in the middle. This is based on Google Gemini 2.0. You can have add notes, audio re overview and mind map. You can also have study guide, briefing doc, timeline and FAQ. If you need Gemini to generate anything, it will generate based on your sources or only. So I think it's very good because if you use ChatGPT or if you use Google Gemini on its own, it will just find some random sources online and then try to generate some articles or a read, a written work for you. In this case, at least you can control and learn better because you can go and find out all these articles first from verified sources, you know, like scopus.com or even sciencedirect.com and all this. Verify first, download them, then you upload it here as a process of um, not creating your own language model. I think this is very interesting because it really helps you to verify the sources first. So you can ask this to summarize. For example, summarize these articles in one paragraph. So it will do it for you. And of course, the summary, you still have to check whether it's really reading the whole article. What I like the, is the fact that it will show you where it got it from. Right, This one is from Chan and all that. You know and all that oh by the way i forgot to tell you when you upload all these sources it's good to name them correctly so that is easier for you to trace and at least like this one i know is from chan and and so on so you have all this uh, summary so what is lacking now at the moment of course uh, it, it's still not able to generate the table directly within um, you know this chat box but if you need to have a bird's eye view of everything you can click my map here you will be able to create a mind map for you so um, you know like a relationship between the key topics within this uh, these five uh, sources so if I click right then I'll be able to like if I expand this I will be able to expand and if I need to go deep let's say I want to know about AI literacy I just click and then I'll be able to see this uh, written out you know what i mean so the mind map helps you to give you the bird's eye view of what the articles have mentioned you can see ai literacy was mentioned in article one two uh, three and four and five so there are some traces of key themes across all the five articles about ai literacy so i think this is useful because it helps you to really understand what you are doing based on the articles that you have gathered and if you are the type who prefer to listen to something, like some people talking about all these articles, then you can click generate here. You'll be able to generate a podcast of two people from AI, of course, um, trying to discuss uh, these key topics, um, you know, 
in a podcast manner uh, between a male and a female um, host. So while waiting for the podcast to generate, you can I will show you like for example if you need to have a study guide if you are studying for certain uh, subject, you can upload the slides or the notes given by your lecturer, and then you can generate like here I am in generating study note. You can see it gives you like an exam essay format questions and all that, so it helps you to revise. There's also a quiz for you to answer. Okay, if I go to studio, back to studio, I'll be able to also have FAQ style. FAQ means like question and answer based on this article. So I can kind of go through the key question. What are the different categories of, um, you know, in education? Da, 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 da. So you will you get kind of like a quick summary of what you have uh, gathered from the articles, right? And you can also have timeline. If you want timeline, timeline is more useful if the content has a certain time frame. But I think this one uh, may not be useful if you're talking about article summary. But you never know because sometimes if you talk about evolution of AI, for example, then you can see the timeline of this development. Uh, it's taking some time. While waiting for the timeline to be generated, I also have the podcast ready here. Right? So let me play it for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the deep dive. You know, it seems like everywhere you turn these days, everyone's talking about AI. It really is inescapable, isn't it? It is. So we thought it would be the perfect time to, uh, well, take a deep dive into AI and so, education. So you can see that the podcast is talking about all this article later on. Then you can also have interactive mode. So interactive mode means because while while this podcast is doing, you can actually interject, right? Hey everyone, welcome back to the deep dive. You know, it seems like everywhere you turn these days, everyone's talking about AI. So it really is. Oh, our listeners got something to share. Let's hear it. You can tell me more about AI in education. Absolutely. That's exactly what we're diving into today. Yeah, you've come to the right place. We're unpacking the whole world of AI in education. We've been looking at a lot of research on this topic. Trying to figure out what's real and what's just hype. And how AI might actually change how we learn and teach. So we're going to be talking about the potential benefits. So you can see just now I just joined, I interjected. Now if I want to interject, I can play. As well as some of the challenges and things to consider. One of the first things. Oh yeah, let's hear it. Can, can, can we just focus on challenges, by the way? Absolutely, we can definitely focus on the challenges. Yeah, no problem at all. We can so really you can see how interactive is this because while the podcast is being generated, now it gives you the feeling that it's live. Of course, you need your microphone to be ready and allow the browser to record your voice to be able to enjoy this. So if you go back to the studio, you can download the whole podcast and then the podcast will help you to understand the, whatever you have uploaded here. All right, so pretty useful. You can upload the sources, the articles here, ask questions about it, ask it to summarize, up it to compare between two articles, uh, highlight key uh, definition or whatever you want, and then you can do all this uh, mind mapping, uh, study guide, mind mapping, study guide, FAQ, timeline. So the timeline is like this, right? You can see, right? So because of the articles here, but of course this is a bit, you know, a bit a bit off because it's based on the citation. So because the article that I put here is not really about timeline. So timeline is more useful if you have articles where you you had a set of time, right? You have a set of time where yeah, I know AI can help you to generate the timeline. Okay, so try to explore this notebook LM. If I go back to my notebook, but so I will have one here. I can create another one and continue. Right, you can see every time you create, you have up to fifty sources. So so try it out. Don't don't waste this opportunity to use Notebook LM to personalize not only for research but also for your learning because you can see just now if you upload your notes, your slides, and everything, you can actually learn better through this uh, Notebook LM. Treat it like a notebook that you can use for your learning purposes uh, based on the language model that uh, Google has provided.